Hey hello everyone my name is Dinesh Krishnan in this video we're going to understand how to use the properties in a Spring Boot application right so now you can see that we already have the property file called application.property now what I'm going to do I'm going to add word in a one custom property I'm going to call this custom property for example if you look at it in a previous video we actually were you know customize the error message right let's go to word you know the application error class now you can find what only two fields right one is the code another one is a message consider I want to uh, you know introduce one more variable private string the field name is details if the client wants to know more about the error so they can visit the particular URL they can get information right that's the understanding so now what I have to do let me generate the get us and set us generate get us and set us okay the get us and set us is generated and now where we are actually what you know constructing this application error so we are constructing in what you know the error handler class right so now if you look at it so here we are constructing what you know the application error object now we are setting what you know all the appropriate fields right now we introduce one more field called details right set details in the details i want to pass what you know the url where customer can go go to that url and then they can see what you know the appropriate api documentation right so I just want to configure the API documentation URL in the app property file. I just want to use that URL into what you know this error handler class. Let's see how to do that, right? So I'm gonna name this property key is going to be API doc URL. So I'm gonna say HTTP colon double slash API dot local host dot com for example, okay. So consider you can update it later as and when we are launching this application right so now we have what you know this error handler class now i'm going to introduce one variable private string so i'm going to say what you know details right so the detail i want to read i want to populate this particular value to this detail variable right later i want to set this variable to this particular attribute right so I have to do that so now in order to do that you have to use annotation called at value annotation in the value annotation dollar of in the curly braces you have to pass what that property name right so what is our property name it's our api underscore doc underscore url right you know just pass that now you can see what you know so we introduced the new field we added the new property in the property file we actually what you know trying to access the property file using what you know the value annotation now let's test our application whether this is actually adding at part of the error message or not here we go our application has started successfully now let me go to what you know the postman so i'm going to hit this particular url so i'm going to get what you know all the customer so i'm going to call the url where the customer is not available I'm gonna, i'm going to request this particular customer id it's clear that we don't have the customer id so when I sent it now you can see what you know we are getting the customized error message along with what you know one more field called detail but this particular value actually what you know we are reading from the property file. Thanks for watching.